It's Annie, and today I'm going to share with you my personal full moon ritual. The full moon brings out an intense energy and it brings out a lot of emotions in us, and it's a great time for releasing the energy that does not serve us any longer and allowing healing to take place. And it's interesting because Hollywood portrays a full moon as this scary thing. And while yes, it can bring up some emotions to the surface, which can feel a little scary sometimes, it's actually a beautiful thing. And even if you aren't into the whole full moon ceremony thing, what if you took this monthly occurrence as a reminder to check in to feel and consciously release that which is not serving you. But before we get into it, if you haven't heard, I am opening up a monthly membership called the Master Manifester Membership. And I bring this up because for when you get access to a private community, lives, live meditations, monthly coaching calls, virtual events, and so much more. But our first community event is happening for members only, which is a full moon ceremony and it'll be happening through Zoom. So come hang out with me virtually and we can have our full moon ceremony together. Check out the link in my bio and I hope to see you at the members only full moon circle but back to the full moon ritual since the full moon is about release i like to prep with releasing physical items clearing out any clutter cleaning my space now this is not something you need to do so if you don't have time to do a full declutter don't let that stop you from taking advantage of the full moon energy but i find it to be a very good practice as a matter of fact you don't need to do any of the steps i'm sharing this is just my personal practice so take whatever inspires you and feel free to do your own thing now that it's clean, it's time to set the mood. I love to create a nice ambiance with lighting. I also have a full moon playlist, which I created to support the flow of the ritual and I'll link it down below, but feel free to make your own. Music is not necessary, but it does add for some good vibes. Next up, clearing the energy. I use sage. I personally do a lot of energy work, so I'm very intentional with this. I do not advise everyone to just go out and get sage and use it as a trendy item. This is something to use with purpose and intention. I use sage that is ethically sourced. Another way that I respectfully preserve sage is instead of burning the entire bundle, I pick off individual leaves. This works wonderfully and this bundle lasts me almost a year of saging my little apartment daily. Again, you do not need to use sage, but before I sage, I make sure to open my windows and doors. Sage is about releasing and clearing old energy. So you want that energy to have a place to escape. <laughs> and if you don't use sage, you can purely use your intention. But as I sage, I focus on releasing old energy. I use this little mantra or prayer. Into the smoke, I release all energies that no longer serve me. I release all fears that limit me. I release all energetic cords and attachments, sending positive love and light to the ones I love. And simply, again, you can just use your intentions. Use a mantra, use a prayer, just visualize your energy in your space becoming clean and cleared. And then I sage myself. Again, with intention of releasing the energy from me, really visualizing and feeling it lifting up and out. And next, I pretty much do the same thing, but with Palo Santo. And all of what I expressed about Sage applies to Palo Santo as well. I do a lot of energy work. This is a tool I use. I'm not advising everyone to go get this and I only get sustainably harvested Palo Santo. Palo Santo is good for cleansing and also calling in high vibrational energy. Whatever your beliefs may be, call in whatever resonates. Maybe as you burn the Palo Santo or just purely with your intentions, you're calling in God, angels, your spirit guides, 
the universe, love and light. If you don't use Palo Santo, again, I want you to view this as prayer time or mantra time to set intentions. Do whatever resonates and just access loving, supportive energy within yourself and call that into your space. And then just like with the sage, I Palo Santo myself as well, calling in good, loving, light energy. And moving on, I love lighting a candle and incense, but again, that's not necessary. Do what you like. And then I just sit down comfortably and guide myself through a meditation. I have a specific flow I take myself through. If you would like me to create a guided meditation of what I guide myself through, comment below and let me know. Otherwise, guide yourself through a meditation or you can look up full moon meditations or meditations on releasing energy since the full moon, again, is about release. From here, I grab a paper and a pencil or a pen and I list out all of the things that I'm releasing for this full moon cycle things that do not serve me, limiting beliefs that may have been holding me back, maybe resentments I've been holding towards anyone, habits that do not serve me, unhealthy relationship dynamics, whatever you want to let go of, be very intentional and write it down. taking that paper outside under the moonlight with a bowl and a lighter or a candle and reading that list to yourself or even better out loud stating I release listing off all of the things feeling the words feeling the emotions on the page and really acknowledging your willingness to release feeling those feelings and then when you're ready burn it light the paper on fire and as the page burns feel and visualize all of those things lifting away with the smoke release feel the release in your body let the tension go and if you don't have the availability to do this safely outside then you can rip it and throw it away but I really feel so much energy in burning outside under the moonlight but do this at your own discretion And after the paper is gone, stand there in gratitude. Feel gratitude under that moonlight for all that you do have and all of the good that is to come now that you've really made space in your energy through the release of that which does not serve you. And while we're outside, some other tips. If you have crystals, you can charge them under the full moon light. Some people also like to make moon water where they have water sitting outside charging in the moonlight. And there are different things you can do with this. I recommend looking it up if this interests you. But other than that, I like to end the ritual with a nice relaxing bath. Some candles, definitely some Epsom salts. Epsom salt helps clear energy as well. And just sitting there in the bath, feeling a bit more gratitude. But I hope this helps. Again, make sure to check out the Master Manifestor membership and join so you can come to our first members only full moon ritual ceremony. Link below. If you have any questions on that, leave a comment below and I will see you soon with a new video. Bye guys.